let's open up the page. So your first page that you're going to come to is sort of your opening page, which is, has the end paper, a really nice pattern here, which I actually love. I'm just going to put this on here so it kind of balances that way. And then you have created by Dami Babs, simple agenda on that end paper. Then you have contact info and how you can kind of connect with us. So versevessels.com and our Instagram is at versevessels. So if you're not following us, please do give us a follow. Um, and then you have your nameplate page. So here you're going to obviously put your name and um, you can put your phone number, like a contact number. And sometimes um, I can put my email or maybe my social handle. Um, so I'd put at Dami Babs there, um, but I just left that blank. So you can kind of put whatever you feel you want to put there. And obviously this also serves the purpose of if you were to lose it and someone finds it, how can they contact you and send it back to you? And then you have simple agenda. You have a tagline there, which says plan simply and live fully. And I believe that a life well lived or a life fully lived doesn't have to be one of chaos, confusion and clutter. So I just want to encourage you to just plan simply and take each day as it comes, making the most of every, every day. Then you have a little message from myself here, just kind of, you know, telling you about the simple agenda, how it came to be, what it does. And um, yes, I'll leave that to you to read. Then we have this divider page, I would like to call it, which is, which says, this is your year, new start, new dreams new focus i just really like that just a nice reminder that you know it's a new year and yeah everything we can kind of start afresh and just begin again then you move on to your content page so your content page is going to tell you everything that's obviously inside your planner so you have about me 2022 year and review holidays and observances all sorts of things which we're going to go through obviously as i walk you through the planner and then i have a little how to use guide here so for your monthly calendar for your monthly um, dashboard, your weekly dashboard, and then your daily planning. How can you do that? But this is just a guide, you know, it's not concrete, so you can, you know, use it however way you want to use it, obviously. Then we have about me. So you're gonna do a bit of self-reflection. Start off with just putting some personal info. And then I've got here, I am a. So think about what are you? So remember you're more than a job title. So it's not just, oh, I'm an engineer, which you know I am. But I want to put other things there. So I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I'm a daughter, I'm a worship leader, I'm a friend, you know, that kind of thing. Just think outside of the box, um, like what are you and who are you? And then write words that best describe you, things you can't live without, people who inspire you, just little things like that. Just really doing some self-reflection. Um, I am grateful for positive affirmation. And then currently, so you're in the new year. Um, now, what are you current like right at the start of the year? What are you currently loving, feeling, watching, listening to, reading, and planning? And then a little bit of a game. So this or that. What are you love language? You know, are you someone that loves quality time, or are you someone that loves receiving gifts? Are you someone that loves words of affirmation and just someone kind of you know praising you and affirming you that kind of thing? And then you finish off with where I see myself in one year five years and 10 years. Allow yourself to dream, allow yourself to think ahead. I know it's really weird to think 10 years time, like, oh my gosh, that's so far away. But just dream, just imagine like 10 years time, where do you want to be? What do you want to be doing? And you never know what can come of that. Then you do your 2022 year in review. So after this first divider, all these pages before the next divider, I call them your intro pages. So this, how to, how to use all these is all kind of your intro pages. So your 2020 year in your reviews, your intro page, page where you're just going to talk about, you know, how 2022 was, um, you know, what was your word? If you had one describe 2022 in three words. And then I've got these little prompt questions here. You know, how did you celebrate your birthday? I think that's something that happens every year, right? Unfailingly, <laughs> um, we get to celebrate our birthday and it's always a special day in our lives, isn't it? So how did you celebrate it? And how, how did it, how did it make you feel? What did you learn about yourself? What achievements are you most proud of? You know, it could be um, your goals that you were able to hit. It could be major milestones, that kind of thing. How did you care for yourself? You know, self-care is so important. Um, and, you know, it's not just, you know, physically, but spiritually, mentally, emotionally. How did you care for yourself? How did your relationship evolve? So family could be marriage, could be parenting, friends, work, you know, how did those relationships evolve and change? Or what did you learn about yourself through your relationships? How did you develop your career, business, or education? So here I tried to make it as kind of, um, I don't know, holistic as possible. So you might have a business, 
you might be studying, you might obviously have a career and pro um, professional job that you're you know, pursuing and stuff. So how did that develop? How did it change? You know, what did you learn from that? Like, what was your experience when it comes to those three things? What challenges did you face? What did you learn from them? Finally, rate your year. That's always quite difficult to do. It's like, oh, I don't know. Obviously, with one being not so good and 10 being amazing. And then we move on to your holidays and observances. As you can see, it's not a full year at a glance. So it's your first six months and then the next page is the next six months. You have your quarters as well. So quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. One thing I really wanted to do about this spread was I usually see planners where you have your year at a glance calendars of 2023 and 2024. And then maybe the page behind is all the holidays. And I just feel it's so disconnected. Like, I really think it makes sense to see your calendar, to see what holidays fall in that month, and then to be able to plan within it. And that's exactly what we've got here on this spread. I want you to be able to see your calendar in full view for that month. Look at what holidays are happening. If you wanted, you can obviously um, highlight them or put a, st a dot sticker um, for it to even stand out more or even, um, you know, highlight the ones that apply to you. Because one thing we've done um, is we've tried to include as many countries as possible. So we've got the UK ones. And then when it's another country, so we've got New Zealand, we've got um, the US, we've got Australia, you can obviously ignore that if it doesn't if it doesn't apply to you since you don't live in that country um but yeah i've tried to make as wholesome as possible so including as many sort of major holidays so it's not it's not going to cover every single holiday but it covers the most um kind of you know important ones so then yeah and then you can obviously put the dates that apply to you so if you've got a holiday coming up in 2023 you might want to highlight it if you've got kids you might want to highlight their school term dates um, if you've got annual leave, you might want to highlight that as well. So this is like really that spread for you to just mark um, holidays or important um, observances or things that are going to be happening. And you might find that some holidays here that I haven't included that you maybe celebrate, then feel free to add it there. So you can put the number and then whatever the the um, you know event is um, on that line. But I try to kind of just keep it simple so you can put the date number as it applies and then you can write down whatever it is. So that's the my um the first half of the year and then same thing for the second half of the year and one thing i actually noticed if you look at this is the the summer months <laughs> don't actually have that many holidays that is crazy right um just summer bank holidays and then you know you have labor day and independence day in america but then it's not as busy in the summer just quite interesting my birthday is in august so um i'm really like whoa there are no holidays in in i guess the holiday in august is being on holiday and having like school 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 off and stuff like that so yeah but if you look at october november those are quite busy months um then leading into december so yeah that's the holiday and this observances spread and then you move into 2024 again sometimes people do put this at the back but i kind of found that mm, i would then have to kind of give go all the way to the back if I already know things that are happening the following year. So maybe for example, if you're a photographer and you already have um, your clients booked for the next year or you know for 2024, you can actually come in here as well and start writing that down rather than going all the way to the back. Um, so I just wanted that ease and convenience. So you have your 2023, um, you know, two pages and then you have your next spread for your 2024 planning. That brings us to the end of your intro pages. And then you've got this quote here, which I absolutely love. The secret of getting ahead is getting started. Just start. If you're waiting for a sign, if you're waiting for, you know, some lightning from above or anything like that, just start. If you have something in mind that you want to do, um, you know, even in 2023, I would just say start and you never know what can happen. Um, if you take, if you're brave and just step forward, I believe that for myself, you know, with running burst vessels, I just said, I have this idea, you know, I want to release a journal, then I want to do a planner, just do it. <laughs> Don't be afraid. I know it's really, it's not easy. Um, it's easier said than done, but just go for it. So that would be my word to you for the next year. That leads us nicely <laughs> into my word of the year. I know some people do this, some people don't do it, but you know, if you get this planner, it might be something you start to do. 
what is your word for that year? So for 2023, what's going to be your word? What's going to be your guiding word? What's going to lead you and direct you and kind of be the basis for the things you do and pursue in the new year? That's what this box is for. So my word last year was discipline. Now, I'm not going to lie, the first six months of 2022, so this year that we're in, um, I was on it with the discipline, like, you know, kind of physically, you know, you know working now, sort of mentally, um, journaling, things like that. And I'm not going to lie, I've kind of slipped <laughs> towards the end of the year and no, no judging or anything like that, no condemnation, nothing, but it, at least I had that word to kind of be my, you know, guide for the year and say okay you know in everything i want to do i'm gonna implement that discipline and that in that self-discipline it takes to be able to do it so i don't have a word for 2023 just yet but i know something will come up and i'll be able to put it there then you write why you chose it and then one big dream or goal you want to pursue in the year one fear or challenge you want to overcome and one exciting thing you're looking forward to in the year so that's where you write your word for the year and then now you have your 2023 yearly overview and now I want you to think, okay, this is my word. These are the one, one things I want to do. So now what do I want to do in these certain um, categories? So you, what do you want to start? What do you want to stop? What do you want to continue, finish, do more of, do less of, learn and visit? This you can start, you can fill in right at the beginning because you already have, you know, a few of the things you want to do, you know, but you could also fill it throughout the year. And then I've got check boxes so you can tick them as it applies if it's something that you can tick you can obviously tick that you've you know finished it or that you did start that thing or that you did stop that thing start and stop can really work for habits so if there are new habits that you want to start in the new year you can obviously put it there um and then you know continue could be like projects that you started this year and that you want to um continue and um, finish could be like you know things of it again you've started but now you're going to finish it in the new year or maybe if you're in in uni or you're in school and you're going to finish school, you're going to finish uni, you can obviously put it there. And when you do have your graduation, you can tick it that it happened. Um, what do you want to learn? So it could be skills, um, you know, new skills for personal development. And then visit could be where you want to visit or people you want to see. We try to go on holiday, you know, at least once or twice a year. I'll put kind of the two, two places we would love to visit. And then, you know, as time goes on, we could put other places that we do visit or it doesn't even have to be abroad. It can be within the country. Where did you go or where do you want to go? So this is a very much a where you want to go and you can fill that up um, as you go through the year. Then you have this box here, which you can, which is planning overview. Again, you can use it for whatever you want. Um, as you can see, it's 12 boxes. Again, I've kind of done it in groups of three, so it really works as um, quarters. So it could be, you can, you know, name it January to December and then put whatever it is that you want in there. So I've got things like goal ideas, content ideas, you know, if you're an influencer, or if you're, you know, really out there on social media, um, self-care ideas, meal ideas, workout ideas, books that you want to read, home projects, like different things that, you know, you want to plan um, for the year. You can really use this space to do that. Or you could even use it as a gra um, sort of like a journaling for each month. So when you come to the end of the month, you'll see our monthly dashboard. It does also have like some sort of review. But if you wanted to kind of have it here where you can say all at once, then you can use this box for that as well. But again, very much simple layout for you to use it as you want. So you've talked about, we've done your word of the year. We've done what you want to do, you know, just brainstorming. You've got this little planning page for different ideas and then you're going to come to your goals page. So we've got a page per goal and I've got life area at the top so i've given you some suggestions of what kind of life area you can look at so spiritual career and business health and wellness personal development financial relationships and social so you this is just uh, some ideas if you have others that you want to put in put in there maybe fun and recreation or travel um you know whatever it is you can actually put it there yourself but those are just some ideas so you put the life area there then you choose you know what's the goal you want to achieve uh, for example, in your health and wellness. So for me, you know, I really just wanted to keep fit. I'd set my goal of fitting into my 
wedding dress. <laughs> um, we, we celebrated five years anniversary this year and I, uh, in June. And I said, you know, my goal for 2022 was to be able to fit into my wedding dress. Even if I can't zip it up, just fit into it, you know, somehow, which I couldn't do because these things happen when you get married. And so that was my goal. And I'm not going to lie. I did fit into it. <laughs> I did fit into it. And I was super proud of myself. So, you know, this spread will really help you to kind of say, okay, what do you want to do? When do you start? What's your target? So my target was June, like I said, and you know, did I actually, and what was the actual date and did I do it? And I would say, yes, I did. And then why do I want to do it? You know, what's the reward? It's either, um, how will you reward yourself for hitting that goal? Or it could be how, like, what does it do for you knowing that you've hit that goal? You know, how does it make you feel? What's the reward of actually um, achieving that goal? And then you can put some action steps. So one thing I started doing was I jumped back onto my Insanity videos and I was working out every day apart from the weekend, like every day. So, you know, put your action steps. What are you going to do um, to try and get towards it? And you've got target date, actual date, and then you can tick it here once it's done. You have this blank space again to do some more planning or um you can um use one side one half for um what worked well and the other half for what didn't work well so some sort of like a goal performance review that's what you can use that spread for i don't know if you can see but i've got little lines right there um which is meant to be the center of that page so you can actually um you can actually put a line down the middle there and then separate the two, you know, into two columns. On average, they say maybe set yourself about four to six goals per year. Um, you know, nothing too overwhelming, but obviously if you don't have up to four, up to six, that's fine. You don't have to, but I have done six pages of goals, one, two, and obviously it's covering different areas of life. So yeah, that's what those goals pages are for. One, two, three, four, five, six. And um, yeah, just go for it and think about what you want to achieve in the new year. And then you have a vision board here. If you're very visual, if you're you know someone that likes to cut and paste and you know draw or whatever, you can use this page to really just think about, okay, you've got your word, you've thought about the things you want to do, you've done your brainstorming, you've thought about you've thought about your goals. So now what does that all look like? You can really use this, you know, for that. Or if you want, you can just do, do a mind map and just you know do like a chat. Uh, chart and just do all sorts of things that you want brainstorming it doesn't have to really it doesn't really have to be like cutting pictures and stickers and stuff like that but feel free to use as you, as you wish and then you come to your routines so in the routines page i really want you to think about how can you build a well-balanced productive life productive day um so the, to start you off i've got your morning and evening routine so what routines are you going to put in place especially to help you in achieving those goals that you already just set the the section before um so you know you want to list like what are the things you do in the morning you know you wake up then maybe you read your bible you pray and then you you know work out then you get ready that kind of thing to like list it out and then on this side you can put um you know maybe the time that it happens or you can put the duration or you can put if it's like specific to a day you can put the day um that it happens on on that side and then you have six uh, more spaces for routine. So that could be like maybe a self-care routine. Um, it could be your cleaning routine. Like how do you want to go about cleaning stuff within the house? So maybe you want to, for example, clean the oven and the fridge and other stuff like that. You want to do it on the first Monday of every month. So on the first Saturday of every month, you know, you can really put that there and just put, um, you know, make, make it be very specific as well with what you want to do and how you want to build those routines um into your life but again there's just that um, many spaces for you to do as many as you want then finally you're gonna build your ideal week um this is a table that runs monday to sunday and then you have a time slot here which can equally be split into half half hour so you can start your day with five six seven eight nine and run all the way down i think it goes from five to to ten and then obviously in the middle can be half hour so 5 5 36 6 30 however way you want but feel free to kind of you know put the um, hours as you want and then you can map out exactly what your week looks like or at least your ideal week you know you might have work you know from eight to four which is just given every day and then what do you do in the evenings you know you might want to include what you do or what your kids do or what your partner does you know you can really just map it out here 
a tip I would say is maybe writing it in pencil, especially for this page, because then obviously as things change and seasons change throughout the year, you can actually rub it out or, or if you can use an erasable um, pen to be able to kind of rub it off and do it as you wish like that. And then you can put what your primary focus for each day is on this side. Um, so for me, Mondays is usually um, choir practice. So I would always go to um, choir practice in the afternoon. And Tuesdays, I try to focus on verse vessels. Um, and then Wednesdays, it's kind of like family time. And, you know, we pray, we read the Bible, that kind of thing. So you can like really put what your focus is. Or you could just use it to map out things that, you know, your, your kids' extracurricular activities um, throughout the week or things that you do personally as well throughout the week for each day of the week so that's your ideal week spread and then you have a notes page and that's the end of the prep page that I didn't say so you have your intro pages then when you come into here with the word of the year that's your prep page so you're prepping for the year and then we are going to move on to the planning pages which is like the bit I'm most excited about but before we get that there, you have your divider page, which just has this list of, you know, things that we can do. So plan simply, give cheerfully, speak kindly, and then finally live fully. And as, like I said earlier, our tagline is plan simply and live fully. So these are all the things within that just makes life even more amazing when you're able to love deeply and laugh happily and forgive quickly and speak kindly and give cheerfully, um, be a generous giver, like giver. That's just, yeah, a reminder there. Um, of what it means really to live life to the full. Now we come to our monthly calendar. So I'm going to be really quick um, about this because it's so self-explanatory. You have your monthly calendar. So for January it runs one to um, first day of January to 31st of January. One thing I want to say is each day has its own box. So there are no split boxes. I absolutely, absolutely detest when I see that because I'm like, how can you even write in that box? It doesn't even make any sense, but we're gonna leave it there. So each day has its own box. There are no holidays in here because as you can see, obviously the box are not that big. They're not as big as you know they could be, especially if I had done split boxes. So I didn't put any holidays in there, but also because we've got so many holidays listed here you know for different countries and stuff and some might not even apply to you so i didn't want to start crowding the space with holidays so the whole idea is for you to be able to put your holidays and what you celebrate you can really just put that in that box um, um yeah so then obviously with this you can use it for appointments um events um celebrations to do's um you know mood tracking doodling meal planning for the day and if you can, as you can see, each each box is also lined. So if you wanted to do meal planning, you can actually do breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack in that box for each day. If you wanted to really track your meal um, and you know plan your meal for the week for the month. So yeah, that's that. And then you have some um, lined notes sidebar here. Again, you can put your to do list for the month, and then obviously tick it as it applies. Or we can put some sort of you know gratitude anything you want it's there you have a mini calendar of the next month you have some dot grid space here which for me i was thinking actually if you wanted to be creative if you had a word for that month you can actually like just write it here or kind of doodle it here and then finally you have a tracker here so this planner does have tracker uh, a tracker and when we get to a weekly tracker when we get to the week um i'll show you but I thought actually it'd be cool to have one at least for the month where you can track something for the whole month. Uh, for the ladies, you know, we have that special time of the month that happens pretty much, you know, every month. Not, not so for everyone I know, but at least you're able to kind of track it, you know, for that month on here if you wanted. You don't have to, but I thought at least then you, have, you can have that overall view of, you know, when your monthly period is coming and yeah, you can track it. So when you get to the next month, um you can do the same so when you get to february you can do the same there as you can see the plan doesn't have any tabs but one thing i've done is done printed um thumb tabs right there so you can see january there and then you can flip through so when it's two months you can see december january and then when it's uh february it's like that so it kind of has this nice effect on um, going through it like that which i think is so cool um so yeah that's your tabs at least you can use it to find the month if you are looking for a month 
and then you also have some ribbons here so you've got two ribbons um black and white uh let me move this up a little bit so you can see your black and white ribbons like that so that's your monthly calendar and then you have a monthly dashboard so on your monthly dashboard you set your three goals for the month so your top three goals for the month and then we have like a vertical calendar here some sort of vertical um you know list out calendar so here obviously you have that whole box style but i've actually so in a sense you have you get to have two calendars um here and he again here you could use it for maybe birthdays um if you didn't want to put it here you can use it on a list here of birthdays and you can always come here to know whose birthday is on the 10th and then it's also got the day of the week next to it as well so it's not just the numbers so that's really really going to be handy or maybe you feel someone that has clients or stuff like that you can just put who you're meeting with um on that day we've got this graph here graph grid or graph paper again you can use it for to do's or any notes that you need to kind of remember that's linked to whatever you've put here again you have another blank space here what i plan on using this blank space for is a memory verse so i want to really challenge myself in the new year to kind of learn some you know learn scripture and um so i will put a memory verse here and then i write out what it is and obviously what 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 um scripture is you know mark whatever and then i'll always try and remember to learn that that verse and obviously like think about it throughout the month um but again it's got those lines here those little dark um lines that you can use to split the um space into two if you wanted and um you know use it however way you want you could actually like write your memory verse here and then you can maybe have a prayer list here what you're praying for for the month you can write it there and then so this is the monthly planning page and then you have a monthly review page on the review page you get to write your win for the month um things that you want to improve for the month if you want it you can just write it as a kind of a paragraph all the way through or you can write it as bullet points so then you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, six things that you can put in there. And then think about your monthly faves. So what was your favorite thing that you watched, that you'd read, that you listened to, that you purchased, uh, activity that you did, a place you went to, an event or like an occasion that you went for. And then finally, how did you spend time for yourself? You know, your me time, your self-care, like how did you yeah, incorporate some time for yourself through the month? You get to do that there. And then you have this little dot grid here. We again, can use for notes and whatever you want. Um, I think I might be using this for like monthly budget. So the plan doesn't actually have a, um, a finance or a budget section. Uh, again, cause I know a lot of people like to do it digitally or a lot of people maybe have a separate planner, um, budget planner. And so I didn't want to obviously crowd this place or crowd the planner with, um, um, you know, budget pages. If it's not something that really applies to many people, for example, but at least you have this little space here that you can use to, budget for the month if you wanted um and and then if you wanted to track your expenses you can maybe track it here or you can track it in here um however way you want or a daily one you never know so that's your monthly dashboard now we're gonna move on to our weekly spread yes so you're probably thinking oh, where's the rest of the days um so this is a week on four pages so you actually have monday to wednesday which is Mon like the first half of the week so wednesday hump day as it's called so you get to see your first half of the week here and then you get to see the remaining half of the week on the second page and i just did that so you had a lot more room to write so as you can see it's vertical but at least you have a bit of a, a writing space um so at least it gives you more room to write let's move on to our weekly dashboard so it's a half page weekly dashboard First of all, you have the week number at the top. So the plan actually starts a little bit, starts on the last week of December because January 1st falls on the very end of that week. So it's a Sunday. So I kind of included the whole week. So if you wanted, if you got this for Christmas, <laughs> you can start right the next day. <laughs> you can start on Monday and actually start using your new planner. Or you could just wait to the new year and actually start using it on January 1st. Up to you. Um, and then you write your top three priorities for the week and what you're grateful for. This could be before or after the, at the end of the week. So before you start the week, like what are you, what are you grateful for? Or if you have a praise report, you can write it there. And then you have this dot grid again, which you can use for whatever. I've kind of made it like this. So if you wanted to do that, some sort of chart, 
uh, like a sleep chart or a mood tracking you can kind of do that there or if you wanted to just use it as you know list for shopping list or um you know things that you need to do for the week you can like kind of use the space for that you have your habit tracker so like i said you have a habit tracker and you can actually write down six things that you're tracking across the week um you have this little target um symbol here which is just means like how many do you want to do across in, in that week and then monday to sunday you you know obviously tick as it applies and then at the number here means how many did you actually do so if you said you were going to do five and you just did three then you actually can see at first glance that okay i'm not quite hitting the mark in terms of my target and my goal for those habits so that's what that's for and then at the end of the week you can just write highlight again you could just write a long paragraph if you wanted or you can write three bullet points up to you same thing here um and then we go on to the very last thing um about the weekly spread which is your daily planning so your daily planning you have obviously your day um your month your day number the day itself and then I don't know if you can see, but right there in that little box there, I've actually put the day number of the year. So this is day number 360 of 2022, um, 361, 362. And then obviously we get to 365 or 2022. And then you start with day number one of 2023. And I think that's really um, helpful reminder for some people. I know it is for me. I follow a, a year in a, a Bible in a year reading plan. And obviously sometimes they kind of just tell you what day number of the year is. Um, so I really think that this will help me to be able to say, oh, okay, day number 362, I'm reading, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then you have this little space here for your first thing that, you, for your like top goal for the day, or it could be a reminder, it could be a deadline, anything that's your top priority for that day, you can write it at the very top here. And then the, the box following, you can then write, you know, other intentions or other things that you want to do for the day. Or if you like, you know, track the weather or your morning routine and um, your mood, your sleep hours, anything like that, you can put it in that little box. But the top one is for your main focus for the day, you know, rather than trying to hit three, four, five things that are your top goal. What, think about what's that one thing I want to do for the day and then you can write it there. And then here you have this space where you can put... Um, if you like, if you're someone that likes to schedule your day by time, you can actually put your your um, time along here, so you can start from six, running all the way till eight, and then you can actually put obviously as, as things apply, start work, finish work, and then you can tick it if it applies. So maybe if you have a call at twelve thirty, speak with Claire, and if you actually spoke with her, you can tick it there that it's happened. So that's what that sp space is for. Or if you're someone that just likes to write a long list of to dos. You can just write your long list of to do's here and then tick them as, you, as you've done them. If there's any of those to do's that has a time that's time specific, then you can put the time alongside it and then tick it. So up to you if you want to do time blocking or if you just want to list your to do's. And if you use this for your to do's, you could actually use this space to then write maybe appointments and meetings that you have. Um, but this space again is for lists and notes, um, you know, doodling, brainstorming, anything that you want, you can put there. And then finally, you have this little space here, which has, again, that two little divider marks there, which means if you wanted to split this box into two, you could. So if you wanted to track your exercise here and your steps here or your water intake here and your meal here, you can like kind of do that and have that demarcation to help you to do that. So that's the daily spread. And it kind of runs, obviously, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday um thursday friday saturday sunday and then it repeats again you have your weekly dashboard so when you get to the second of january it's now week one and then it flows through that way and i hope that's really clear on how to kind of use it again there are no headers or titles or labels just so you're free to plan however way you want and assign these sections as you wish but i think it's enough you know it's a lot of checklists there you can if you're someone that likes to tick um you can do that but if you like someone that likes to put times you can do that as well um, really really versatile really functional and if you're someone that uses stickers as well you can also do that so that runs all the way um through um right until the very end so on the very last page i'll show you what we have so then you have a review so your 31st um 2023 ends on a sunday which means that january 1st 2024 starts on a monday which is so cool i think we've not gone into january here just because yeah we ended in 2023 and then finally you have 
your 2023 year end reflections so think again what was your word and how did you embody and live out your word what were your major achievements things like that just to kind of do a year end reflection if you get the next year and planner so if you get a 2024 planner right at the start you will get to do your 2020 2023 reflection if you, if you remember we did that for 2022 here which has a bit more in-depth questions you know how did your relationship evolve things like that so here's just to kind of do a year and reflection but when you get your next planner you'll be able to do a proper review of the year and then you write things that you want to improve for the year um there what habits did you start stop and then you have some notes pages obviously with the way the book is and how kind of thick it gets i don't want to put too many notes pages but at least you have a good number here so you have one two three i think you're about 11 and again i've got the little marks at the top and the bottom so that if you wanted to split this page down in half and use it for two separate things you could you have that middle line there for you and then i just run all the way through then and then you have a little dream plan do there and my little copyright page and the end with our logo on the back and that's the simple agenda planner i tried to keep it as short as i could but um yeah it's 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 really exciting when i start talking about it because i put so much effort into this and so much time and i'm just so proud of how it's come out so well made and yeah so you got your ribbons there so you could use one to mark the month um you know you can use one to mark the month and then whatever day of the week you're in you can use the other to mark that or if you want to you can use one to mark the um holidays you know wh whatever you want to mark you can use it for that and that's the simple agenda planner it's a5 size you have detailing on the spine there um these are the sides and the sides here this has got those printed thumb tab tabs along the side there which i think is so cool and that's the bottom part of it and then yeah so that's your planner i hope you enjoy it i hope you um, place an order if you're interested and i can't wait to hear how you use your planner and you know just see pictures um of how you're using it and obviously we welcome feedback as well it's our very first one so i'd love to hear from you um in terms of how we can improve it for next year Thank you so much for listening and bearing with me, with me. I'm so sorry it's so long, but I really just wanted to get, you know, get in there and be very, very um, descriptive as to how to use the pages. Well, that will be all from me. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.